Welcome back to another video. Real quick, man, let me just introduce myself. We got a lot of new people here, a lot of new subscribers. If you guys don't know who I am already, my name is Tim and I go by Hotshot Mac. I have been in the hotshot trucking industry for about a year and four or five months. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I set up my ELD from start to finish. I'm gonna show you guys what I do on my iPad and how I just maneuver through the app and my hours of service and pretty much just how to use keep trucking so stay tuned again welcome back to the channel and we're gonna get right into the video All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna show you is the device. Where do you connect your device? A lot of you guys may be just getting into this. You just got your ELD in the mail. You're getting ready to hook it up. So where, where do you, what, how do you really hook it up? Of course it does come with instructions, but I wanna just give you a visual of what works for me. I'm gonna turn this camera around. I'm actually just gonna show you guys how I mounted it and where I plug it in and then the next step. Here's where I have my device mounted. I'm actually gonna just, Oh, goddamn. The device comes with two Velcro strips. As you can see, I pretty much just base them right there. Real simple, real sturdy. It's not going anywhere. You do to what you like. You put it where you want, but I felt like this was uh, good for me. And then there's two lights on here that I'm able to see on this side. I ran my wire right through here under the dash. And then I'll show you guys exactly where I plug it in to get it connected to the truck. I have my ELD plugged out intentionally for you guys just to see where I have it plugged in. Just have some zip tie up here, get all that excess wire wrapped up. Again, it's real simple, man. All you're doing is plugging this into your OBD2 sensor, which is where you get your codes. And you know, there's extensions and things up there, but all you do here is just plug it in. And that's it. All right, so after you've got the ELD plugged into the truck, the next thing is getting it paired with whatever device that you're deciding to use with it. For me, I use my iPad, so I'm gonna be pretty much pairing it with my iPad. And because I've already done this process, the light's already green, it will automatically pair to my device. It's like any device that you're pairing. You're gonna have a Bluetooth pair option. As you can see here, like I said, mine automatically will connect and it's very, very simple to do. All right guys, so after we go through that process of getting the devices connected, I'm gonna move over more to the iPad and cord and show you guys how I maneuver through the app. You know, just some of the functions that you wanna be aware of, um, whether it's if you're gonna be getting an inspection, just some of the things that you need to know and some of the basics that you need to know to, to maneuver through the app. Keep trucking used to be just keep trucking, but now it's motive. Another form of an electronic login device that we use to monitor our hours of service while being in operation and always keep in mind no matter who you are if you are a commercial vehicle non-cdl or cdl you need to be running logs you can do your own research uh, depending on how old your equipment is or you know how old your motor is to see where you may not have to run a log but depending on your equipment the majority of drivers out here are running an electronic logging device all right guys so this is where my home screen usually just starts like this Every Every time I pull up my app because this is actually where I leave the screen as you can see here I have Thursday that has a red notification what I'm gonna do is since I'm getting ready to go on the road right now and move my setup I'm actually taking my trailer to my yard I'm gonna go from off-duty to on duty and I'm gonna show you way I'm gonna show you more functions on just like I said how to maneuver but since I'm in opera I'm actually about to jump into operation I'm gonna show you what I do first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sign my log for Thursday which was yesterday John break and what I'm gonna do is go over to sign I'm gonna agree and that's pretty much it that takes care of Thursday and that's certifying your logs every day that you are either operating or if you're off duty or just not even operation you still need to go ahead and sign your logs real quick once you do get that connection between the ELD device and your iPad your phone or whatever you use this lets you know here if you look to the top right of the screen you will see where it says ELD in green, let you know the connection has been made. If the connection has not been made, you can kind of click on that section and it will give you the options within here. It will say disconnected and it will give you the option, options to pair you know, the devices together. We're gonna go back home and right now I'm gonna start my pre-trip. So I'm gonna go here to the change duty status page 
and I am gonna go on duty, and then I'm gonna choose my notes. I, I don't know what everyone else does, but I always put notes you know, for every function that I do while I'm on the road. In this case, I'm gonna start typing pre-trip, and once I start P, they have defaulted functions that will automatically come up. So as soon as I put the P, you can see where it says post-trip and pre-trip. In this case, we are doing a pre-trip inspection, and then I'm just gonna hit save, and now I am on duty and my shift has started. And that's more of the hours of service side where um, our shift has started, that 14 hour clock has started to tick, and we are now moving and in operation. So I am gonna let this go for at least 50 minutes. That is the minimum amount you wanna do for a pre-trip. I've already done my pre-trip, you know, before even starting the video because I knew I was gonna do this video for you guys. This is gonna go for 50 minutes, and then I'm gonna show you guys how how to sign this off on your log so that now you can move into driving. All right guys, so while this pre-trip is going on, we got about 50 minutes. I just wanna talk to you guys a little bit more about keep trucking, which is my experience. Honestly, I've heard mixed signals about keep trucking in the past. You know, people have told me they wanted to throw it out the window, but honestly, my experience with a logging device has been you know, seamless. I haven't had any issues. I haven't had any connectivity issues. Anything causing me to pull out my paper logs and use my paper logs because of a malfunction. It's very user friendly, very easy to use. They have certain functions like where if you wanted to get Wi-Fi out of your device, you can actually pay for certain levels of data that you can use for whatever hotspot needs you may have. There are different packages as well that you can get. I think we're paying around 130 bucks every quarter, I believe. They got different options, different things that may suit everyone different. So we do have our links and everything in the description. If you're looking for an ELD, if you're looking for something that is user friendly like it is for us check out keep trucking get with them see what they can offer for you i felt it was necessary for me to kind of just share my experience while showing you guys how it works for me real quick i just wanted to show you how i have my ipad mounted which my ipad is mainly for my elds and i like this device because it keeps everything it keeps it close it keeps it out of my visual obstruction of the road that also could be a violation if you have devices and things Things, you know obstructing your view i do have it linked in my amazon store it is very durable this is where and how i have my ipad mounted also if you are happen to use your phone this is what i use here again very durable it's called vic seed again this is also linked in my description in my amazon store if you don't want to use an ipad or if you don't have an ipad or a tablet it works you can turn it sideways sometimes i'm getting visual things like 25 bucks or something like that oh one other thing i'm gonna show y'all too man is this device here i just got it's a steering knob i think this was like 12 bucks turning the steering wheel now man it's like it's like a breeze and they got a bunch of different kinds man if you want to get something that's customized y'all let's have to shut up out here man i'm trying to protect the sun y'all y'all been not y'all been not jump in the comments man talk about my hat man you know what i'm saying chrissy if you watching this i already know i'm gonna hear something from you 50 minutes has passed we are now going to sign off on our pre-trip what you do here is you're going to select on the friday right here is what i do and we are going to go into inspection and then we are going to hit the plus button right here because we're going to add an inspection everything your truck info should already be up i'm going to hit next this is pretty much the general section where you'll have your information um, it's going to automatically pick up your location of where you are i'm going to go ahead and put in my odometer reading which is oh, 20,125. i'm going to hit done and then I'm gonna also put the inspection type, which is a pre-tripped. Um, right up here, you see in the middle defects. This is of course, if you found any defects on your equipment, you wanna note them just so that you have the record. Uh, if you can try to get that shit fixed before you, you log a defect, cause that could keep you down. I'm gonna go ahead and sign my, well, first I'm not gonna sign. I'm gonna go to general, uh, make sure everything is good. Then yes, I'm gonna go to sign hit sign inspection done and save and then you're going to pretty much just get a satisfactory uh report saying you know everything is, is is good on the equipment after that man you're pretty much just ready to roll once you go into drive everything is connected the truck once you start driving we're going to notice that it's no longer on duty you're just going to automatically go into drive i'll show you what's going on right now so far within our uh, hours of service on this side you can see here where we have eight hours for a break 11 hours for drive we did have a 14 hour 
shift, 70 hour cycle. But since we started our pre-trip, the clock has already started ticking with our shift and our cycle. I'll break these things down a little bit more. That's more so for the hours of service side of things, not so much how to use the ELD. Like I said before, Keep Trucking did recently change their name to Motive. So they do have a different face and a different platform from what you're seeing right now. I haven't really gone over to it too much because I've gotten used to this old school look, but they do have a newer platform on, on just face of what it looks like. And whichever is your preference, you know, it pretty much all does the same thing, all has the same functions, but things just look a little bit different. But anyways, we're going to take off and we're going to um, hit the road and I'm going to show you guys what the ELD will do when we go into that function. All right, so right now I'm getting ready to roll and take off. You guys are going to see what the ELD does. We are going to go into drive. Usually the ELD will not pick up any driving unless you're going more than I think four or five miles an hour. Sometimes in truck stops, man, if, if I pull up to the fuel station and I'm starting my break or whatever, I might crawl through that truck stop to find me a parking so that I'm not interrupting, you know, my break time. There it is. You see where it just went into drive. Now it says that we're driving and it's locked because you can't make any adjustments. You're not, you're not going to be doing any changes while you're in driving. That's pretty much what it's going to do until I get to whatever destination I'm getting to. In my case, I'm going to my yard to drop off my trailer. Also keep in mind that when you're loading or unloading, if you're getting to a ship or a receiver and you're having to wait, that shift time will begin to eat into your drive time if you're doing more than three hours or you know whatever the time is on your shift versus what your drive time is. It eats into your drive time if you're just doing things for a long period of time. That's it for now, man. I'm gonna see you guys probably on the road here in a little bit and I'll just, you know, talk about things a little bit more. All right, y'all, so we're getting ready to get to our stop. Another thing I wanted to show you guys, you have the option here to choose between which screen you wanna be on. But if you press, you know, bottom, bottom left of the screen, you see these four little circles. You can either be on this screen where it just shows you your driving time or you can go back and forth forth where you see everything you will get a notification an hour in advance of every you know possible violation that you may get if your drive time is about to run up or if your break is approaching you'll get a notification that that's about to happen usually this is a screen that you will show when you're either when you stop or or whatever the case is it'll remain on this screen um, until you either choose to change the status or if you're sitting for long enough it will prompt do you want to stay in drive or do you want to update your status once you do that and you update your status i will actually go in and i will go off off duty and put my notes based off of what I'm doing. In this case, I'm gonna be taking a break because I'm literally just disconnecting my trailer. I'm not going back on duty or going back to, to do any work. I'm pretty much just taking off, you know, on personal, personal moves. So right here, you will definitely see where the drive time that I've used, my shift, my shift does not stop moving. The shift will continue to tick until it pretty much runs out. And my break will automatically reset once 30 minutes has passed, whether I'm on break, whether I'm just on duty loading or unloading loading that will automatically reset to eight hours that's that man i'm gonna go ahead and get ready to disconnect the truck and then i'll show you guys what i do to go into personal convenience and things like that so we just disconnected the trailer from the truck i'm not going to change my operation i'm still going to be off duty but i'm going to show you guys how i go into personal convenience or how you should go into personal convenience using keep trucking let me go over to the ipad and i'm gonna show you guys that real quick so it's very simple we're gonna go back on the off duty status or go to change duty status and then i'm gonna go to off duty and I'm gonna just type in PC home it's usually what I do and then down here you have to remember to enable personal convenient conveyance personal conveyance I might have been saying this wrong the whole time so driving will be recorded as off duty so once you do that and then once you hit save, it now says personal conveyance enabled. That's what we're gonna do until you know the truck is parked and then we go back into off duty break. So um, that's really that man. And I think I showed you guys earlier how to sign the log, I believe I did. Um, yeah, that's, that's, that's gonna take care of that. You know, like I said, hopefully, you know, you guys were able to take away from this video. Hopefully it helped out. All right, fam, that's gonna wrap it up for the video. Appreciate you guys always for the support. Drop a comment, let me know if this video was helpful. If you are just getting into the industry and you're trying to decide on an ELD, I will have everything linked in the description. You will get a $100 gift card for using our link. Definitely do your research. Don't go off of what I may just say, but I just wanted to share my experience with the ELD with you guys. 
that. Do your research on it to make sure that it's gonna be compatible for what you do and for your business. Appreciate you guys again. Give this video a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next video.